Carrie is in surgery right now. So this time around, she was not sick, and they left this morning, and they're at the hospital now in Kansas City. I did not go. I have had a child die in my arms, and I just, you know, it makes me nervous to put her to sleep to do this, to fix her teeth, and uh, I, I just don't want to deal with it. I just I can't. You know, now for back when I had no girlfriend, no wife, and I had just the boys, I had full custody of the kids, yeah, I went to their appointments and stuff like that, but I just, my uh, son Stephen, he went ahead and went with her, so that way she, my wife has somebody there, but I've been here praying, I've been praying even yesterday, I mean, hell, I've been praying every day, just, I want this to go smoothly and everything work out okay. You might think I'm paranoid, but you know, it's happened where something has went wrong and the child has died and having their teeth fixed. I've seen like three stories within the last few years and it just, it makes me very nervous. When you're putting someone to sleep, something can go wrong. But I am grateful that she finally got to go and had this done and the bottles will be thrown away today. So she, she's going to throw a fit, but she's been drinking enough off the sippy cups that I think that she will go smoothly with that I'm hoping but she will throw a fit I know she will especially at night but the bottles will be gone I'm gonna throw them away here in a few minutes and uh, just gonna have to deal with it she's old enough that she can understand so if we just keep telling her I'm sorry you can't have it you have to have just sippy hopefully that will be enough I got so worried that she's going to be sick. Man, three times being sick and missing it. It's, it's taken all this time to finally get her in there to have this done. And um, I'm worried. <clears throat> it's scary. So I thought you guys would want to update on it. You know, uh, we still haven't got anything done with uh, Steve finding out what's, you know, what's wrong with his brain, that gland that's swelling or growing, and uh, it'll be on the 16th of this month. Uh, him having the test, so then we can find out what's going on. You know, so I will make an update when that happens. He lost his job. He he got fired supposedly because, you know, he's going to be going back to Job Corps after the testing and find out the results and if it's good then he can go back and so they were filling another person in his slot in his spot and um, so that's why they fired him it's weird I talked to him last night it doesn't make any sense to me I mean why not just give you the opportunity to quit being fired is not good on your record so anyway I know that I'm gonna be judged uh, you know harshly by the others but I don't give it I don't care I, I really don't care they are in the past they don't matter but, yeah, I know that I'm going to be judged by different people for not being there for uh, Carrie's surgery. But I just can't do it. And, you know, that really traumatized me. I'm glad that I was there for my daughter when she died. But I just can't. I can't do it. When there's something major like this, I, I can't do it for any of them. You know, um, little things, yeah. But something big like this, I just can't. And if they don't understand it, then screw them. I don't care. Um all right uh thank you for watching you guys have a good one and please pray for carrie that this goes okay smoothly and god bless